morning guys it is the start of a new week and i'm doing a standing ab workout with mr and mrs muscle let's get it let's start this new week decided to wear an actual top today because my sports bra is like not as full coverage so i was just like i'm gonna i'm gonna work out in this type of outfit so we're gonna get started starting a little late, but you know, it's my fault. It's fine. Don't I look beautiful this morning? Okay, before I show you what I'm having for breakfast, I get this peanut butter. It's really cheap and I personally really like crunchy, unsalted peanut butter and it has the oil. I had a couple people tell me that you should keep it 
like this, basically upside down, so that the oil can distribute evenly. I tried that with the last bottle and I did not prefer it because I just felt like I got a bunch of oil where as if I'm doing it as I go and like mixing it each time I use it, I feel like the oil distributes evenly. And yeah, there might be a few dry spots, but I prefer that more than over oiliness at the end. So do you guys do the upside down method or no? Like, let me know. I didn't get on with it. I don't think I'm going to continue doing it. <laughs> but to get into my breakfast, I am having my celery juice with my beauty collagen, my vital proteins, collagen, beauty greens mixed in. And I'm having two peanut butter with honey, like two toasts with peanut butter and honey on top. So that is my <laughs> breakfast this morning. I just was really craving bread. Oh, my hair looks crazy. But basically, last week I did the couscous thing and adding it to my food. And I weighed myself like every day because of this like um, thing, this weight scale thing that I got. like. There's this app and you're supposed to track your weight every single day, whatever. I did that and so I've been weighing myself every day. And last week I maintained weight with eating that couscous and all the other stuff. And I'm just like, nah, that's like, that's not a caloric deficit for me. So I'm cutting out the couscous again because to lose weight for me, I need to be in a caloric deficit and adding that couscous, although it is good, I'm just, I think I can have it like with lunch and just not with dinner, but I was having it with both lunch and dinner. Also the way that I made it last week, the couscous wasn't like super flavorful. So there's that. But anyways, I'm gonna get started because it's nine o'clock now and I need to get started with work. But yeah, this is what I'm having today. I'm just going to stick with protein, as in chicken, or my whatever meat options that I have, and vegetables. Right. Having a little bit of gummy worms with some coconut water, mango flavored. So I'm going to tap into this, watch a little bit of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is honestly how I've been working for the past couple hours. This is what I looks like. But I'm sitting here. I ate that entire bag of gummy worms. I honestly can't eat anymore. I'm full with that gummy worm, so I guess that was my lunch. Oof. And I'm just having my coconut water with mango. I prefer pineapple. This one is no added sugar, which is nice. But I can't taste any mango, so it's not really doing anything for me. Anyways, the standing workout that I did with Mr. and Mrs. Muscle today, I can still like feel the effects of that ab workout, which tells me that that is a really good ab workout. Also, I was kind of sweating through I mean, I was sweating, as you guys saw earlier, so I'm definitely going to keep that in the rotation because... That was a really good one. I know I look crazy, but honestly, this is this is what has been comfortable for me today. And yes, I have this still fat shirt on. It's merch. Okay, no judgment, please. Anyways, it's like lunchtime. I think I'm gonna take a break from work and watch Game of Thrones, finish watching Game of Thrones. I haven't finished the season seven or season eight, so I bought season seven because it's on discount basically everywhere on Target, on at Walmart, um, for like twenty four ninety nine. So I think the original price is like forty something dollars. I'm like, anytime I can save, yes, girl. But the eighth season is not on sale, so. I'm going to wait a bit before I buy the final season. Because I basically have all of them. I didn't mean to buy all of them, but I was just like, well, 
I'm not going to do HBO. Might as well just buy them like every paycheck, which is what I did last year. And now I'm like, well, I want to finish Game of Thrones, so I need to finish it. I need to watch season seven. And here I am watching season seven. So anyways, I'm going to sit here, stay hydrated. That's another thing. If I'm not drinking water, I'm drinking coconut water because coconut water keeps you hydrated, like just as hydrated, if not more. And it has like electrolytes in it, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I know for some people it's an acquired taste. It took me a second to get used to it, but it took me a second to get used to it, but now I'm used to it and I prefer it. Although this is not my favorite. I'm not gonna do this again. I'd rather just go regular, you know? Let's get back to watching. Game of Thrones! I'm on season 7 episode 2! Your girl is catching up finally with the rest of the world from last year. Don't go in the comments and be like, let me tell you about Game of Thrones. All the spoilers. I Please don't. Please. Please! Leave me in peace. And don't do that. Um... Because I will not read them. I'm just kidding. I read every comment. But still. This right here is my favorite red wine. It is extremely affordable. Like, less than 12 bucks. And to me, it tastes like grape juice. So I'm gonna have a little bit. I'm just gonna continue watching Game of Thrones like I've been doing. And drink this beautiful red wine. Currently eating a sausage, about to make breakfast. Today's breakfast is my parfait. I have some chia seeds under there. As you can kind of see, it's lots of peanut butter, granola, yogurt, blueberries, all the good stuff. And then my delightful green drink, which is the celery juice and adding in the vital proteins, collagen, beauty greens into my celery juice. So that is the breakfast along with the sausage that you saw me eat earlier. <laughs> So I'm currently making toast. I'm gonna put honey and peanut butter on it. But I had a piece of sausage earlier. I don't know. It's just been a little bit of a weird day. So I have like another meeting that I need to be get to. So I don't really have time to like cook anything. So this is what I'm doing <laughs> instead. Oh gosh. So a little bit of a check-in. Yesterday for dinner, I had a burger and sweet potato fries and a teensy bit of wine had a cab and like one sixteenth of a muffin because <laughs> it was made with some milk so yeah that was like my dinner yesterday and now today I'm gonna do the standing ab workout by Mr. and Mrs. Muscle so let's Get into it.
So I'm supposed to be getting visited by the Red Plague soon, and I've been really craving all the sweets, like all of them. I really want to go to Crumble Cookie this week and get myself all the sweet. Like, there's two cookies that I really want to try. It's a sweet chocolate toffee cookie that has caramel and toffee and chocolate. It looks so good, and then there's like this peanut butter brownie one that looks so good. They have like a pink velvet one, but I can't have that one because it has cream cheese as frosting and I can't, I'm lactose intolerant, so I really can't have cream cheese. But I am making um, lemon shortbread, basically lemon bars today. So, and although I am giving a lot of it away, I do plan on at least having one. Um, if one piece is like, yeah, I do plan on at least having a couple. Well, one for myself, and then they can have the rest, slash I can distribute it to other people that I know. But, yeah, I'm just like, okay, well, I had that sweet. I also had gummy worms the other day, and then I had ice cream, I believe, on Sunday or Saturday. I had ice cream this weekend. Um, I think I should... I showed that. But yeah, I had ice cream earlier this week and then I had that candy, so, and then I'm planning on having that lemon shortbread. So really, I should just not have the cookie. But I really want to, and I think the reason why I'm craving all the sweets is because the red plague is going to visit me. Oh gosh, man, this is gonna be tough. I also forgot to weigh myself this morning, so I have no idea what I weigh today. But I'll weigh myself tomorrow. But you guys saw I did a workout today. I think for sure I'm gonna keep up with doing the ab workouts from Mr. and Mrs. Muscle. That ab workout, like I actually do feel it, and I like that it's a standing one. I don't have to be on my stomach or my back, um, which is nice. I can just be standing. I honestly <laughs> prefer that. It's really like that one's my favorite for sure and then i just did my own leg workout as you guys saw and i just sweat more in a circuit type of thing instead of just doing like 10 different exercises whatever and doing them all once like i prefer doing like three to four different exercises 15 reps each and then doing like rounds of those that way because i just pick up a better sweat that way and I want to be able to sweat. So I think that's just my preferred method. I'm finding out what works for me at home, which is basically what I did in the gym before all this stuff happened, which was just doing my own circuits and then doing cardio. I do want to get back into cardio, but I don't know. I think we do have a gym in our apartment complex, but I need to figure out like that situation because I think it's like scheduled you have to like schedule time to go so I just got to figure all that stuff out anyways that's the update for me I've just been drinking a lot of water it's around lunchtime but I'm not hungry yet I'm trying to eat when I'm hungry because I've just I've been feeling very full lately I'm not entirely sure why maybe I think last week it was due to the couscous because I was maintaining weight but I also felt like very heavy because of it. Not that I was like overeating, I just legit maintained 213 pounds that entire week. I'll check in with you when I next eat. I am having some chicken sausage again with some stir fry vegetables. And you can kind of see, wait, actually I don't think you can. And then there is some goat cheese, but yeah, this is like freshly off the hob. Tonight for dinner, I had some meatloaf. I had like carrot fries with some potatoes. And then I had a lemon bar shortbread that I made with, um, that you can get at Trader Joe's. It's like this lemon bar shortbread mix. And I only had one piece out of the entire um, pan that was made. And a little bit of coffee, decaf. <laughs> No caffeine because um, I'm very sensitive to that and would not fall asleep if I had caffeinated coffee. But 
yeah that's what i had for dinner tonight and i also had a macro bar as well and it was really really delicious so that was what i ate tonight i will see you guys in the morning for a workout maybe friday i don't know i have not eaten this morning it's about 10 30. i'm not hungry <laughs> at all um yeah yesterday i found out about like brianna taylor's ruling and then just like hearing more about it this morning i just like don't have an appetite which never really happens i usually always have an appetite but i just truly am so upset by the news of brianna taylor so i'll eat when i eat obviously i didn't work out this morning i was really tired um honestly i just want to take the day off but what am I gonna do? Sit and watch TV and eat something mindlessly? But I don't have a desire to eat. Yeah, I don't know. I ended up talking to my grandma this morning and that made me feel better, but still very upsetting. So haven't eaten anything yet. This is the start to my day. I'll show you guys what I eat throughout the day but yeah interesting Thursday for sure decided to treat myself to some chick-fil-a got myself a spicy deluxe meal with large fry Arnold Palmer and a cookie kind of also want to get ice cream but I'm a hold back so gonna head home now but that is the food update from me today
appointment this morning so it is currently seven o'clock and I need to go but I currently weigh 214 so gained a pound but you know and this morning I'm having pancakes I made pancakes and this is how they came out I'm very excited I'm not one to like make pancakes but I thought why not Let's have the syrup and now the beef de resistance. I think that's enough. All right, I'm gonna eat these pancakes because my appointment's at eight and I don't want to be late. All right, bye. So I went to H Mart after I got my hair done so I can get some food and I got orange chicken. Um, but it doesn't taste that great so I'm just gonna like have a little bit more and then I got some coconut water as well so I'm gonna have this with like to at least maybe finish half of that and then take a nap I'm not sure of what I see Cupid don't f*** with me are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes And I don't see no other guys Are you telling me this is a sign? Right.